Alright, hello everybody. We are here at the Super 8 in Mason, Ohio. Again. I'm back here uh, for a second time. I already did a room tour here once with Dan a couple years ago. And I thought it might be sort of fun to give another room here a once-over, especially since this time it's during the day. I have the room to myself. Maybe give this place a little bit more of a, uh, a look under the microscope. And I will say... During daylight already, I'm not liking this place quite as much as I did last time. We'll go into it in a little bit more detail here. I also did just arrive, so this is sort of a first impression tour. So starting at the door, first of all, this is your map of the property. Um, it's actually split up into four buildings that are all you know connected. You can still walk all the way down them. They're sort of on different elevations. You got one that sticks out toward the highway. I'm actually on the back side this time, but once again in building number three, just like last time. Really, the biggest issue I see with this room is just that it is sort of beat up and worn all around. I mean, just about everywhere you look, you'll find some kind of cosmetic imperfection, some sort of maintenance that hasn't been done. The door frame is honestly pretty bad. It's also fairly dirty. There's stuff just splattered and smeared all over this thing. And as you get down here, it's pretty scarred up from presumably people kicking the door closed, just based on where that big print is there. The carpet's all frayed and messed up. Really not off to a amazing start here. Though on the upside, minus that little issue in the front, the carpet throughout this room actually is in like remarkably good shape given the look of everything else. And it looks like these uh, drapes on the window are like brand new. These things look just about pristine. They slide really well. This must have just been replaced. And I do like how large the window is. Sometimes it's a little counterintuitive, but hotel rooms with, you know, the exterior corridor set up can be uh, a little bit cave-like, but because uh, they only have a small window in the front. But this is definitely not the case here. And we have this most interesting chair with some fun mystery stains on it right here in the light so you can see it nice and well. So we'll go ahead and pan up and take a look at the rest of the room. And again, the biggest impression you get looking at is just that, I mean, it's not in great shape, especially this accent wall over here, the one that's painted orange. Um, this wall, first of all, it looks like it was painted very poorly to begin with. There's a lot of spots where the surface is chipped off, and it just looks real tacky when you look at it. I mean, this is a sort of maintenance issue that uh, is very easy to correct, and it hasn't been done here. I also don't like the look of the side of this headboard. It doesn't really seem like it's been cleaned since ever. Hopefully that's not a trend that continues to the rest of the bed. And really, this corner just looks like it needs another piece of furniture. I'm guessing these rooms probably used to have like a little set of table and chairs over in this spot, um, but they no longer do. So it just looks kind of odd and empty and sad over there. The next thing that really caught my eye was this pillowcase on the bed. At first I was thinking maybe they left an extra towel or something, which still wouldn't make that much sense, but no, I have a pillowcase. I'm guessing this means either housekeeping was in a huge rush and just dumped it and left without paying much attention, or, oddly enough, this bed has three pillows, this one has two. Third pillowcase. I guess she didn't know what to do with it because there wasn't a third pillow. <laughs> Where did the pillow go? We may never know. And of course, the trend with this wall being in pretty pitiful shape continues through here. I mean, everywhere you look, something is messed up on here. The lamp between the two tables looks pretty dirty, especially around the switches, obviously not wiped down. The nightstand is also pretty filthy. It's a little hard to pick this up on camera, but there's stuff just splattered all over this thing. And the worst thing to me is looking at this phone. I mean, you could see where, like, the surface of the phone is so nasty that there's almost like an orange crust around all the buttons where they've been pressed so many times. Not a good first impression here at all. Though the room has its ups and downs, and one of the ups is actually this side over here. The furniture is all in reasonably good shape. The carpet's pretty nice, so I did just notice that desk looks like somebody sat on it. It's kind of in like that. But cosmetically, it's really not that bad. Let's take a little bit of a deeper look. The desk actually seems like, shockingly clean, based on the way everything else had looked in here, furniture-wise. This lamp seems fine. 
Got a little ice bucket with the tray over here, which also looks completely fine. Hmm, even this chair looks completely fine. It's nice and clean under the desk. This is an interesting room. It's kind of all over the place, but I did notice this wall back here again is pretty gross. There's a lot of stains, things that have dripped down here probably over the years that have never been cleaned up. But behind the TV stand here is spotless, no debris or anything. It's strange. Mildly beat up, but I mean, this is well within par for a budget hotel. That piece is fine. TV actually looks reasonably clean. And it's even properly secured, so it can't tip over on somebody. That's kind of a rarity in a lot of hotel rooms. Let's take a look at this microwave. <laughs> Spotless, go figure. And so is the mini fridge. Like I said, it's all over the place here. I do want to take a better look at one of these beds, just because there are signs that this place isn't being cleaned terribly well, so the worst thing you can get right into is the bed not being properly cleaned. And we do have older style bed linens here. It's like a, well, I like to call this a new old fashioned bedspread. Um, it looks like this is a fairly new piece. It's almost more like a thick flannel sheet than a traditional hotel bedspread. And it seems actually completely fine. And we kind of have a old school hotel blanket here. No sign of any stains, no hair. Really nothing suspect at all here. Linens are actually a bit higher quality than I was expecting. I do notice a couple little things here, but there's no hair, no debris of any kind. These look like some very set-in old stains that probably just haven't come out in the wash, but I don't think it's anything to be too terribly concerned about. Pillows are pretty poor, honestly. These are pretty lumpy, feel pretty old. Though they look decently clean. Yeah, really nothing suspect cleanliness-wise. They're just worn. What I'm real curious to see is the condition of this mattress. It does not feel, I mean, it's a decent mattress. It feels reasonably supportive. But what will we find? Let's see. Boy, actually, it looks okay. Got a little bit of a, what looks like a blood stain there. So that wasn't actually a stain on the sheet. That was coming through from the mattress protector. So small stain there. Mattress actually looks like it's pretty decent, though. No real issues. I mean, there's a couple of, you know, I wouldn't consider a set-in stain that's not even on the sheet to be that huge of a deal. I mean, it's certainly not ideal to find, but it's not going to skeep me out from sleeping in the bed. So, I will say, I mean, skimping on cleanliness anywhere is never really acceptable. Like, things like this should not be in a hotel room, but at least they're keeping the beds up to a good standard here. So they earn back a little bit of uh, credit in my head for that. Got my extra pillowcase to play with here. I just took a peek through this bed, and it seems like it's a pretty similar story. So, we're reasonably okay here. The only other thing I like to check is looking under the mattress, and this is where if a hotel had an issue with bed bugs, often you'd see little spots of blood because they will bite people in the night, and when somebody else sits down on the bed, it squishes the bug and you can see the remains. No indication of that there, or on the crease in this mattress, anywhere. So, I think we got two beds I could sleep on here. I know that's a real high bar, but this is not really a great hotel. 
doable though. Definitely a big step down from the last time I was here. Got a nice little hole in the wall. Just all kinds of issues on this door frame. Been painted about a million times, so many times that the door is taking off the paint when it closes just because it's come out. You see the same thing looking around this mirror. The mirror is also not particularly clean. But behind the door is clean. As I said, all over the place. This is a very odd setup for the bathroom, just to point this out, but the area with the sink is actually behind this door. Like, typically you'd expect the door to be in this frame here, but, uh, you know, so you can have somebody in the shower and still be able to use the sink. This is an interesting setup. Don't know if I necessarily like it, but it's unique. How long has this thing been in here? <laughs> it's pretty impressive when you can get a stainless steel uh, clothes rack to start rusting inside of a room. This really needs to go. That looks pretty bad. Got a decent collection of hangers here. Got your clothes rack or your suitcase rack rather down there. Iron, ironing board and Fairly poor condition. <laughs> Kleenex box thing looks absolutely filthy and terrible. All covered in rust. Noticing a running theme there. I guess the issue is you trap moisture in here when you have to close this door. You can even see where the uh, hinges on this thing are rusting too. Just not a good design. It's also kind of odd that you have carpet going all the way to the sink so this can get wet and moldy and whatnot, but I would say this carpet must have been replaced like pretty recently, just given the condition it's in compared to everything else in this room. It's also weird that you have motion light switches in the bathroom, and these motion light switches go to the most efficient light in the whole thing. I mean, what's obviously an LED strip up here. Very minimalist, but it does the job. It's nice and bright. I see we have a nice little hair in the sink. How lovely. No other real issues I can see up here, though. I mean, this looks a little bit scummy, but... You can tell this outlet is very well used here, how dark it is. Uh, I'll take a look. I left this light off because, annoyingly, the bathroom fan is linked to it, and it's pretty loud. But I'll go ahead and turn it on now. It's just another one of these little LED strip lights, which, again, minimalist, but it does the job. It's actually pretty nice and bright in here. The linens are considerably better than I expected them to be, actually. They look nice and clean. These are, you know, reasonably high-quality towels. They don't feel like they've been washed to death. Though I will say this towel rack is pretty pathetic. Maybe I can fix it for them. Nah, it doesn't really stay in there. This thing has been pretty well beat to hell. And you can see where the old rack would have gone into the wall, because they just spackled it. They didn't even spackle it. This is just caulk. Somebody took a cough gun and just went into the hole and took their finger and wiped it like that. And that's what we're left with there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, the toilet looks clean. And actually, the area behind the toilet looks clean, too. The seat looks fine. Behind the seat looks fine. The flusher is slightly broken, but not a huge deal. So this is okay. The shower walls actually do look like they've been wiped down properly. I don't see any indication that they haven't been. But the tub is not great. You can see it's one of these cheaper metal tubs, and the, uh, the finish has come off. It looks like they tried to fix it a couple times, but it's not really working. I don't know how well you can reglaze a tub like this. I think this tub really just needs to go. It's in pretty bad shape. These fixtures in here are also extremely worn. Shower head is pretty crusty. Yeah. Good pressure, good at that. And actually, I mean, it's a little leaky, but it's a hell of a lot better than I was expecting it to be. 
Like I said, part of my issue with this room is that my expectations got so low when I first walked in that I think I'm letting a lot of things slide that I otherwise wouldn't. Like, oh, this isn't completely terrible. Uh, but no, this isn't a good room. Um, certainly my opinion of this place has been taken down quite a few pegs. I mean, this is sort of like at the minimum acceptable level to sleep in. So, yeah. Definitely could do better than this. The only thing I didn't point out, they do at least have a, uh, a newer PTAC unit over here with a constant fan option. Nice, especially in a place like this, you know, it can get a little bit noisy, you have some white noise to help you sleep. Um, but yeah, that's the Super 8 Mason, round two. Not a great place for me to stay tonight, but um, hopefully you enjoyed the, <laughs> the video. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching as always.